Hello friends. In this video, I will tell you how to draw the output waveform when all the input waveforms are given in uh, waveform form and also when logic gate is having three inputs. Okay, so uh, this is a OR gate. Okay, OR gate is given to you three inputs A, B, C is given to you and X is here. So we need to find the waveform for the X output. So let's start doing this one. So the best way to do such kind of question is to draw the truth table. So this is a truth table of the OR gate, three input OR gate and Z you can consider it this is X. Okay, so here you can uh, consider that this is X. Okay, so let's uh, draw it. <coughs> First thing is always try to find the pattern between the truth table. So the pattern is saying when all the inputs are 1, 1, sorry, when all the inputs are 0, 0, only then you are getting output 0. Rest of the cases you are getting output 1. What it means if any one of the input is 1, you will get the output 1. So remember this thing. So let's move to our output. So initially, if we talk about A is 0, B is 0 and C is 1. Initially. Okay. So initially, A is 0, B is 0 and C is 1. What it means that the output will start with 1. Now, A is 0, B is 1. C is 1. So as I say, any one of the input is 1, so you will get output 1. So it will remain 1. Now come to the next. You can see too many lines. What I did, I have drawn uh, for each transition. Okay, So that it will be easy to understand. Now A is 0 for next clock. A is 0, next pulse. And B is 0, C is 1. What I want to say, just take one reference. So I'm taking C as reference. Okay. So C is one for this whole duration. Okay. So it doesn't matter what is the value of A and B. The output will remain one for this whole duration of C. Okay. As I already told you that if any one of the input is one, you will get output one. So C is one. So we are getting output one. Now next C has become zero for this whole duration okay from here to here it has become zero so now we need to check what is the value of b and a so c b is zero for this small duration for this small duration and a is also zero okay so what it means when all the inputs are zero zero so it will become zero so make it zero sorry make it zero it got beyond range huh? it gone beyond range so that's why now next for next c is already zero for till this value so let's go to for b b is one so no need to check what is the value of a just directly make it one now b has become zero for next pulse this is your zero so check what is the value of a a is also zero so is this will again become zero oh. yeah. this will again become zero for next c is zero b is zero so check what is the value of a a is one so this will again become one okay now b is 1 so no need to check the value of a this will remain 1 okay now b has become 0 here but a is still 1 so this will remain 1 now for next now check c c is 1 for this whole duration okay so just make the output 1 for this whole duration no need to check what is the value of b what is the value of a now next is 0, these two pulse means rest of the duration it is 0. So just go and check what is the value of B. B is also 0, so we need to check the value of A. A is also 0 for this small duration. So this will become 0 for this small duration. C is already 0, so check B is 1. So no need to check for A and it will become 
1 for this duration for next clock a is 0 b is 0 and c is already 0 so all will become 0 0 so this output will give you 0 okay so this is the output x for the three input or logic gate so guys if you like this video please like and subscribe my channel thank you for watching